Crafty family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. Now for today's DIY project, I will be creating two new fall themed home decor DIYs incorporating a beautiful cobalt blue color. Now this video is part one of a two part series and today's video I'll share detailed instructions on how I created these two decor pieces using items from the Dollar Tree and items a dollar or less. Now for your convenience, I provided the list of supplies and tools used to make these in the description box below. Now I'm so happy to share this tutorial with you, but before we start, I wanted to say hi and welcome back to my awesome subscribers and visitors to my channel. Now if you are a new visitor to my channel today and love to create fun and easy DIY projects on a budget, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you will be the first to know when a new DIY tutorial is ready to share with you. So now let's jump right into the projects. Now the first project will be a fall themed family sign. Now for this project, we'll start with an MDF family word from the Dollar Tree. We'll use one pack of gallon paint stir sticks from Lowe's for 98 cents and one pack of five gallon paint sticks from Lowe's for 98 cents as well. Now we're gonna start by preparing our paint sticks and we'll need two of the five gallon sticks and we'll use nine of the one gallon sticks. Just go ahead and package those sticks and we can start marking our cut lines. So we wanna take the five gallon sticks and we wanna measure and mark a length of 17 inches. And then you wanna take your one gallon sticks and you wanna mark a pointed top and I just hand drew this one on. And once I did that, I took them outside to cut with my saw. And here are all of my pieces cut to size. So now we can prepare to stain and I'm going to gather up my supplies. So I will be using my favorite Jacobian stain by Minwax. Now, if you don't wanna use stain, you can also use antiquing wax or even diluted acrylic paint to achieve the look. Now these sticks have a printed side and a blank side. So be sure to apply your stain to the blank side. And then I just wanna proceed with staining all of the sticks and you wanna make sure that you cover the edges and all of the ends. And then once you're done with all the one gallon sticks, go ahead and do the five gallon sticks as well, covering the blank side and the sides and ends as well. Now once everything is covered, we can work on the family word. Now we wanna start by removing that hang string in the back and all of the tags. Now we will be painting the word in this cobalt blue acrylic paint. Now we wanna start by applying that paint all around the edges and curves first. And once all of those inside and outside edges are covered, we can go ahead and paint the face of the letters. And here's how it should look. So once that dries, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take some acrylic paint and I'm gonna outline the letters. Now once I did start doing my outline, I did find that it was coming out a bit uneven to apply with a brush. So what I did is I ended up grabbing my chalk pen to finish out the outlining. Now you can use a paint pen as well to accomplish this look. And here is the outline all completed. Now this will help it pop out on those stain sticks. And now that those sticks are dry, we can go ahead and grab our grid mat and we're gonna start laying out the sticks. So we're gonna be laying out those two five gallon sticks horizontally and we wanna lay them out about six inches apart. And then we're gonna place those one gallon sticks vertically on top and we wanna make sure that these are spaced one inch apart. 
Now I will be using this wood glue from Dollar Tree to bond these into place. You just want to apply a bit under each stick and you want to press it into place and you want to make sure that it's even along the bottom. And just repeat this for the rest of the sticks. Now after sitting for about 10 minutes, we can go ahead and flip our piece over. And what I'm gonna do is add a staple into each stick. And this will add a little bit of extra added security. And now your base is complete. So now we can proceed with adding our family sign. Now to make sure we glue it on evenly, I'm gonna use a piece of painter's tape along the bottom of the word. And then I wanna kinda of take note of which letters overlap a stick, and I'm gonna flip it over and add hot glue to the back of those letters. Now to you can hang this piece fairly easily after you do this. Now to hang it, we will be using some thick jute twine. So I wanna cut a piece about three to four inches long. Now I'm just gonna apply these on that second stick from each end and I wanna loop the twine and I wanna apply hot glue on each end. Now once they're both in place, we're gonna apply a bit more hot glue over those ends for a little extra security. Now once those are fully dry, we can decorate our sign. Now I'll be using these fall picks that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'll be placing these on the bottom of my sign. Now I also wanna embellish this sign and I'll be using some burlap ribbon as well and I'm gonna make a bow. So I'm gonna cut a piece about five to six inches long when the two sides are folded under. And I'm gonna make a second piece the same way. So I'm gonna take a piece of twine um, and I'll be tying these together. So I'm just gonna fan fold those two ribbon pieces I cut place them side by side, and then tie them together with that twine. And then I'm gonna take another piece of that burlap ribbon and I'm going to fold it in half and I wanna tie that onto the bottom of my bow and this will be the ribbon's tails. And once everything is tied into place, we can go ahead and trim out the bottoms of that ribbon and adjust the bow. Now I wanted to add a touch of green to the trim, so I took some of these flowers from the Dollar Tree and I snipped off a couple of these hops branches. And now we can hot glue the trim to the bottom. So I took both picks and I added them in the middle with hot glue. And then I added a branch of those hops to each side. And then finally, you can trim it out with your bow. Now you can add any color bow that you want. You don't have to have a bow. You can add more greenery, pine cones. It's up to you. And now you can hang up your creation. Now I love how beautiful this sign looks. Now I was working with this beautiful cobalt color this summer and it really inspired me to transition this color into fall and I am really so happy with the way that it turned out. And check out these picks at Dollar Tree. They're such great quality this year and along with the wood and the burlap make this a fabulous display for your home.
Now project number two is a lighted fall house decor. Now for this project, we'll start with two of these house frames from the Dollar Tree and a sheet of this blue gingham, which is pr the printable provided in the description box below. Now we will be adding the blue gingham print to the inside of each frame. So instead of trying to fit the print inside the frame, I'm going to remove the backing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run my X-Acto knife along the inside of the frame and then just simply press the backing out. And then I'm gonna repeat this for the other frame. And once frames are removed, we can set those to the side. So now what I wanna do is I wanna trace those backing shapes out of that gingham sheet that was printed out on cardstock. And then to cut these out, I'm gonna use a ruler and my X-Acto knife, but you can grow, you will use scissors if you like. So now that you have your two shapes, you can adhere them to the backboards. And to do this, I'm simply gonna run a bead of hot glue around the edge and then press that gingham sheet into place. And then we just do this for the second one. And now that both backboards are covered, we can add those frames on top. We're just gonna run a bead of hot glue around the frame and then take that backing and press it into place. So now I decided at the last minute that I actually wanted to paint the frame. So now if you decide to do this, it's a good idea to paint these before gluing those backs on. So I will be painting these in that same cobalt blue acrylic paint. So I'm gonna start by painting the exterior of the frame. And then I'm gonna paint that front edge of the frame. And here is the frame fully painted. Now we're gonna just repeat this for that second frame. And then once it's dry, we can start to embellish our houses. Now I will be using these two pack of battery votives. I'll be using four tumbling blocks with one of them cut one third off. I'll also be using some small florals and greenery. I'll also use some of these wood branch pieces from the Dollar Tree. And for a cover, I'm gonna be using this blue portion of this placemat. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna take those votives and I wanna place one at the peak of each house upside down. And then I'm gonna grab those tower blocks and I wanna place them in alignment with the bottom of that candle supporting the edge. And once they're in a place where they can support that candle, go ahead and hot glue those pieces into place. And once both candles are nice and secure and can be removed, go ahead and take those out. And I'm gonna apply a piece of painter's tape to the sides of the frame as a guide where the bottom edge of those blocks are. And then I'm gonna grab that placemat. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace the top of those houses and making the bottom edge match up with those tape marks. Now, you can certainly do this with the house opening facing upwards where you can see the bottom of the blocks too.
And once your outlines are made, go ahead and cut those out. Now once your pieces are cut out, we're gonna mark that bottom edge and we're gonna take make a straight line with our ruler to make sure we're nice and straight on the trim. So now that we have our two pieces, we can go ahead and remove that tape and we're gonna test fit our pieces. So I'm gonna take my candles, I'm gonna put my candles inside and I do wanna make sure that those covers fit while the candles are inside of the house. And it's at that point where you can make any final adjustments for the perfect fit. Now to make this top portion removable for candle access, we can use these Velcro dots or magnet buttons. Now I'm gonna go with the magnet buttons for this project and they come in a six two-piece sets in a package. So I'm gonna start by hot gluing one of those double stacked magnets at the top peak. And then I'm going to apply one on each side. You want to make sure they're in alignment with where those tumbling blocks are. Now we want to make sure that the magnet is overlapping on the inside of the house and not the outside. Now once all of our magnets are nice and in place, we're gonna apply a dot of that hot glue on top of the magnet while it's still in place and then secure the covers on top. Now this will bond the top magnet to that cover sheet. So now we can start adding our flowers and greenery to our house. Now I'm gonna start by just trimming down the stems so the pieces do not go above those top covers. Now I found that it was easier to work with if I removed the flowers while I placed in those stems. And then once I decide the placement, just apply hot glue to those stems and adhere those to the backboard inside the frame. And then you're just gonna repeat this for any additional flower stems or pieces that you wanna add. And then once all your stems are in, you can glue those flowers back in. Now as a final touch, we can trim out the bottom with these wood stems that are from the Dollar Tree. Now once they're just put into place, we could just glue them to secure them in place. And here's everything in place. Now just remove those candle covers and we can turn on those lights and see how everything looks. And now you can place your lighted houses on display. Now I think these are super cute. Now you can decorate these on the inside however you like and enjoy that soft flickering glow of the candles. Now I think you could design this with a faux fireplace or even a Halloween theme with lightning. I mean, how cool would that be? And you can even add a faux shutter to the cover piece. I mean, there's so many things you could do. Now the possibilities are endless with these houses and I hope you have fun creating your version. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite today. Listen, if you love DIYs on a budget, give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure that you're following She's So Craft DEE on Facebook for the latest new sneak peeks and giveaways. Thank you so much for visiting and checking out my tutorial today. 
If you like videos like these and don't want to miss the next one, make sure you're subscribed by clicking that subscribe button below and turning on that notification bell. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.